Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Wavy's second full mini album. Second, right? I think it's the second one. Let's see. Yeah, second album. And it's called All My Youth. Okay. Looking forward to this. I did their case store next door on Patreon. I didn't watch the react the uh the performance because I didn't want to be spoiled. I don't know why they released it ahead of time. Kinda weird. Kinda seems like they're being sabotaged again, but whatever. I'm a, I'm gonna pull through with those theories. I think Wavy is constantly being sabotaged. But regardless, I skipped it purposely to here for the first time i'm very curious because it looks like a movie from the beginning but i doubt it's going to be this is sm their music videos usually are boring i just listened to john cook's album so my birthday was at the bottom my youth my youth is yours, dripping on the sky, so mud. Is, a, is Michael Myers gonna... What? Okay. She has some anxiety there. Shaozhen looking like a sex god. <laughs> oh, is this kind of a movie? Shoot. I'm not like a big fan of the sounds in the back, but like it's so minimal that I don't care. What the fuck just happened? I don't hate it. I got scared. I hope we go back to the sad song. Very looking at her other self. What the? This song is amazing. <laughs> this is how you do it. This is how you go from. To dun 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 dun. Like they took the emotion of the first part and they didn't get rid of it. They just changed it. And it fits the song. It fits the song. Wavy does no wrong. I hope they keep it up because the song is top tier. I'm so angry because it's not going to be on my Spotify rap because Spotify rapped and ended when this came out. But you know, emotionally it's there as long as the song keeps going. The video is, am is amazing. It's telling a story. It's cinematic. And yet, no, not even a million views. I'm so sick of the blatant racism <laughs> of the fandom. Whatever. It's cool. When we got three lines, I think. At least two. That's already better than before. Wait, okay, yeah, women's getting lines. My baby got lines, and this is their best title track, and that's just proof. 
Kiss it. I'm gonna kill this. Oh. This is like a TVXQ song. In terms of emotion. Yo, the run is due. How is Phantom and All My Youth out the same year? And they're both their best house products. Is that Shaojin, right? Could be Kun, but I think it's Shaojin. You can't tell me the, the, the NCT fandom isn't clearly, purposely avoiding Wavy. This song is amazing. Like, why? It's clearly purposeful. Because... Okay, we're gonna break it down real quick so that I can get it over with and we can continue with this album. This song is the best NCT song this year. I love Broken Melodies. Fact Check's fun. ISTJ, it's fine. Yeah, Broken Melody is better, but you know, it's fine. This song delivers emotion, performance, vocals, and it's fun. Blaming Mama Youth! Like, that's very 127 coded, that's very awkward and weird, but works, you know? So, it has the emotional ele element of Broken Melodies, the quirkiness of, like, and, like, the weirdness of, like, 127. Is the motion of like dream with the like weirdness of one two seven has the vocals from both. So what what do y'all not like about it? Like what, what do the other fandoms who have them like both groups have them like you know there's people who only like dream and only like one two seven and they hate each other, but like half of them love both groups like like me like I love both groups. Depends on who I like more, depending on like the comeback. It's, it usually just depends. Right now it's Dream, but I've always said Wavy to me has the best discography. Even to this day, even though Dream, Wavy was my favorite unit, but then we had like a year long break, you know, of just nothing. So Dream took over at that time. Dream, probably still my favorite right now. Musically, I'll always say Wavy kills it in the music category because like i just said it has the emotion of like a dream song but like the some quirkiness of a 127 song but then there's like this r&b to their music that just the other groups will occasionally do on a b-side but we kind of have a signature sound to them and i feel like people only don't listen to wavy because they're Chinese. Which you're going to say no. But I mean this. Because you can't blame the Lucas thing. Because this was already an issue. Before the Lucas thing. Wavy was always an outlier. It can't be because of the lack of content. Because they had more content than Dream did at one point. They had Wavy Dream Plan and stuff like that. They had two or three shows. Because I did them all on Patreon. Like they had shows. There was there. We had Lucas win win and 10 now people some people already didn't like lucas before but 10 was always and win win were always very popular and win win was in one two seven so 127 stands who love win win because he is he was one of the most popular members and to this day is so probably the most popular member in wavy could be wrong about that i'm a win win stand so i'm biased but I guess 10. 10 is very popular. Xiao Zhen's, y'all are stealing him from me. I always claimed him as a Tobias record. Y'all took him from me. Whatever. I, I see you out there thirsting over my man like that. Whatever. Um, but they, ha they had funny content. They're very family oriented. Like they, they, they feel to me like the most of a family. I always say 127 are a frat house. Dream are like best friends who grew up together. And Wavy to me is like a family. Like, they were, like, a family. Because sometimes they're at each other's throats. There's so many different personalities. But they all kind of, like, stick together very deeply. Win Win's, like, one of the one members in a group who was always mentioned when he was away. Always FaceTimed. Always brought up. Like, there was never, like, a time where I was like, oh, they're not bringing him up. Is he leaving? I never once thought Win Win was going to leave this group. Even though he probably could have. <laughs> and maybe should have. Because sometimes I'm like, Wavy's, is Wavy worth it? <laughs> Is Wavy 
worth it? There's never anything going on, but things are happening now. And I just want to know, why is Wavy treated so differently? Why? Why from day one? The company, it's because they're Chinese. I get SM, they're, they're from Label V, and SM's always racist towards Chinese members. We've been new. But the fandom doesn't make sense to me. Because Yuta is Japanese. I've seen Yuta get hate for being Japanese. I've seen it. It's a thing. But there's a big part of the fandom who loves Yuta. Like, there's a big part who love him. Um, not even just the biases. Like, there are people who, he's not their bias, but they defend him. Because, you know, people aren't, not everyone's racist. <laughs> so people come for him, you know, like, they, they protect him. And then Dream have two Chinese members. Technically, Renjun right? Like, I don't know, Renjun's lore is <laughs> confusing to me to this day. I'm pretty sure Chinese, but grew up in a part of China, right, that spoke Korean, that's why he knows Korean, or is he Korean and grew up in a part of China, so he knows Chinese, something like that. My, I don't know my own husband's lore, it's cool. <laughs> um, so I don't get why, oh, also, I keep forgetting to mention Kuhn, Kuhn was always part of NCT as well, uh, so why, why, why is Wavy, Wavy always gets the least amount of views, the least amount of pre-orders, sometimes not even mentioned in NCT stuff. People never defend Wavy when there's like little things that people are like, oh, it's not that big a deal. It's a little thing like, oh, she didn't have a Wavy sticker on her laptop, whatever. They didn't mention Wavy, whatever. It's fine. It's not that deep. But then it's like, oh, but if, if they ever had to mention Heichon, like or a certain member, that, that's a big deal. But a whole group? That's fine. It's okay. You can you can forget a whole third unit. I just don't get it. It's, the only, it's literally the only thing that makes sense is people just don't like them because they sing in Chinese or they're Chinese, or but the thing is some of them aren't even Chinese, so I don't. That doesn't make sense to me. Like tense tie, like you know. I just it stresses me out because I just want Wavy to get the love they deserve, and they just don't. They just don't. They have some of the best vocals in NCT. Some of the- Ten is the best dancer in NCT. I thought we've all collectively agreed Ten is the best dancer. Winwin's the most beautiful man alive. That's subjective. You know, we can- we can- You know, you know, I can understand if she thinks someone else is more beautiful. But like, Winwin to me is <laughs> the most beautiful man alive. Young Young is one of their best rappers. I don't care what anyone says. Young Young's is my favorite rapper in NCT. I'm very biased against- <laughs> I feel like Taeyong's, so it was like, when Taeyong raps, sometimes it ruins a song for me. I think he's a great rapper, but sometimes his voice ruins a song for me. Young Young, I feel like whenever he raps, it never feels like I'm being attacked. <laughs> Anyways, I'm forever angry at the way people treat Wavy. <laughs> Oh, well fun. What are their streams like? I wonder if people listen to their music and just don't stand the group. Is that Young Young singing now? Okay. Yeah, they do decent with songs. They average 30 million streams. Here I feel like Ten's low key giving me the middle finger. I'm so off my face. That's catchy. Ooh. As a win-win stand, I will be my eyes on. I'm looking. 
be the great one on my YouTube. I am the annoying one when Stan, but I'm, I'm gonna hold back because we already did a lot of complaining in the beginning. So I'm very curious. Oh, Ooh, this layering. We love a good layering. I love that. Wow. No, like, we all came through. Yang Yang's rap. I loved Kuhn's voice on this song, personally. Kuhn, to me, I feel like I don't mention him a lot when I talk, because I, I think Xiaozhen's voice penetrates your ears more, <laughs> in a good way. Um, Kuhn has, like, Kuhn's, Kuhn's the member who's, uh, I mean, it's in the best way, like, has, like, the middle voice. You know what I mean? Like, at least he's the middle voice. Uh, he's the one, I don't want to say the normal voice, because... That doesn't. That makes him seem like he doesn't have anything to him. He does, but he's like the grounded voice a bit. Like he keeps it. Like he can. He can suit any song. So I feel like I don't mention him a lot. But I feel like to me, his voice sounded really good on the song. Ain't no thing. Kind of scared. This might be the cringiest song of the album. There's always one song that's a little. Ooh, is this sampling like a Kanye song or something? We won't stop coming move with me, uh, yeah. 中间对象目标，往热烈的地方，碰撞的种失败，意外，勇敢的痛快。All right, let's go. 我们揭开未来，往成功的距离，在电脑。Let's get into like a high note or something, a fun chorus. A very fun dancey chorus. I wait for someone to be, say like, but a chicken wing or something. <laughs> ain't no thing, ain't no thing. I hear 10 a lot there. Oh, this actually isn't cringy, it's just fun. I want the recording sessions of their album, fingers crossed. It's a fun song. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing. No thing, ain't no thing, ain't no way. I feel like I'm saying ain't no way in the back. Oh, is that the part where it was actually Young Young? Oh no. I was like, it sounded like Boy but it could have been Young Young. Black cards like those unlimited career cards, right? Mm -hmm. That the rich people have. I 
fun. That was fun. I liked it. Um, my favorite type of wavy songs aren't really these fun ones though. So it was it was a good song. Good song. I liked it. The one but you. I love a good ballad from them. Oh, it's like they're a uh, let me love you. Oh, I love it. Let me love you. Let me love you, son. Oh, wait. Where is it? It was my favorite song off their debut. Or. Debut, right? Yeah, let me love you. But like a slower version. He looks like a Yuta there. See, I like when women sing. It's a sweet voice. It's impossible. I'm the one you want. And you want I got. This reminds me of like a western song. This part. I feel like Kim's not getting much here. I feel like Kim and Shashan should be more heavy in the song. Is she actually doing those ad libs? Yeah. Okay, this is my favorite song. Oh, but the title track was actually the title track might end up being a favorite on this album because it was just so good. Like I love like, when a title track can be a favorite song because it's just that good. Oh shoot, this one's great. They keep pushing Win Win as a rapper and one day I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw hands. <laughs> like I love Win Win. I love Win Win. Would die for a Win Win. Would take a bully for this man I don't know. I love Win Win. I love Win Win. I love him. <laughs> you know this. He can't rap. <laughs> 
He can't. And it's okay. Just make him sing. I always say this. You can get better at singing, but you can't just get better at rapping. You just can't. Either you got it or you don't. It's very blatant when you don't. You can be passable in K-pop. When one's just... His voice doesn't suit it. <laughs> and it makes me look bad as a win-win stan. Because I keep asking for more lines and when he does get them, it's always not a good rapping part. And it can stand out sometimes. It wasn't horrible here, but it just it did make me go, ooh. Uh, no. <laughs> No, I want to hear you more, but I want to hear you singing more, or even doing like a little something, but not not rapping, not rapping, please. Because he has like this voice that just his voice is sticky. His voice is <laughs> it's 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 just thick. He has a thick voice. He has a thick talking voice. Does that make sense? When one when talks, you can always tell it's him talking. He has a very distinct voice. But when he sings, his voice gets lighter. I noticed that on the other side. I could still tell it was him, but it was lighter. And I think that benefits him more. I don't think he suits low speaking, like low rapping. Like I don't I don't think I think they think because he has a deep voice, he should always sing in a or like rap in a deep voice and it just it doesn't sound very good. It, just, it really doesn't. Like, I'm just I'm just tired of it at this point, so I'm gonna just say it. He, he's not a good rapper. He's just not. Would die for this man. And I think this is the issue. People say he doesn't need more lines because he's not good at rapping. That doesn't make sense. He can have more lines. Just have him sing. We're invincible. When we did it, to the top, we ain't hitting it. I like every one, two, every every dream unit. Or oh. I hate NCT sometimes. Every NCT unit. I'm learning. I don't think I like ten <laughs> doing that either. Okay. I think I just don't like the rapping in this song in general, only Young Young really. I think it's because they're doing a monotone delivery and it just, some of them just don't sound great doing it. But I like the song, so it's okay. Every NCT unit has had like a chanty monotone song like this. Like a very simple, just like song like this. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, we did it. And I liked them all. It was great. They really rhymed when it all with Invincible and it worked. I love that. Yeah, yeah. We're I hear baby, I don't hear wavy. That comment said, I think he said wavy. I hear baby. Because I heard the book. Oh, we have a unit. Oh, <laughs> Stop forcing him in this rapping room, man. This ain't him. He, he doesn't have the aura. <laughs> he just ain't it. Alright, whatever. I hope he does. I need to know if it's just me. I guarantee people don't like when one's rapping either.
Oh, you saying it for me? Okay, so I don't mind him. Wait, wait, okay, they, they redeemed me this song. I was not liking it. <laughs> I like Yang Yang carrying this part. Okay, this song was hit and miss. I don't like the chorus, but that last part kind of... So, okay, I was trying to see how people feel, and it seems like people have this mindset, which I guess I just disagree with, because people were saying, all I could really find around this is, SM should have pushed when when as a rapper from the beginning, which is a hard pass for me. Hard pass. Hard pass. I just simply disagree with that. Why does SM keep pushing Johnny and when when to be rappers? That's my question as well, because I hate Johnny's rapping too. At this point, I'm going to just tell it like this. I hate his rapping. <laughs> it's just not very good. Because the thing that Johnny and Winwin have in common is they have very smooth voices and distinct voices. So when they rap, they're kind of limited. This is how I feel with Jamin too. They're doing better with Jamin by giving him more lines and, and weirder songs that kind of suit him. I said, so wow, one person in each group, I'm just like, they should not be rappers. Jamin is weird because I don't, I, I just think, he, I don't get why he's a rapper in general. Because he's actually a decent, like out of the three, I feel like he's the best singer. And I think it's because he has a very sweet voice. But he has a, like out of the three, he also has the most weird voice. Like he has such an odd voice in the best way like i love it but it once again it holds him back from doing certain things johnny is a good singer though. i guess it's just the the argument that a lot of people have is there's better singers in the group but that doesn't make sense to me because there's also better rappers in the group so what do you mean there i think always should have more singers than rappers and right now wavy has six members and three of them are rappers i never think that's a good idea because then it forces the group to do more rapping when you should never have to force rapping because it feels you can tell when it's forced um and i think it's always more noticeable when someone raps and they're not good at rapping than when someone sings and they're not good at singing that may be just me but it's just true i also just think win win was never a bad singer he just isn't he wasn't a good one and now it's been years and he can't get any better because he hasn't been getting lines. People keep saying, because they can't sing and that's why they're rappers. But that's worse. <laughs> People say, I don't like his tone of voice when he sings with one win. But I don't like his tone of voice when he raps either because it just feels very forced and it feels very odd. And he's not a rapper, not at all. He's just not a rapper. He's also not really a singer. 
which I agree. Uh, I don't know. I'm very much of the mindset you can always train someone to be a better singer. But the, the thing is, people say, oh, they don't have time for vocal lessons, which I understand, which is why I, to this day, think at the beginning, when they're training, they should have a distinct role of, if you join the company for dancing, which do you lean towards and which does your voice suit? Because not anyone can rap. Some people just sound bad rapping because of the voice they're given or because they just don't got the talent for it. And win-win to me is both. Win-win doesn't... Win-win probably didn't have the talent for singing right away and they didn't want to waste time with him so they just put him to rapping which is literally what 90% of K-pop rappers are. But I still think even if it was like a month or two training for him to sing he would be a better singer to this day than a rapper. But because they're lazy and they think oh you can talk so you can rap they're like, let's just give him, and it's very evident. And he doesn't improve. Apparently, Young Young says like, people say, Young Young says he practices rapping, but I'm just like, it doesn't matter how much you practice it. If you're not good, you're not good. This is one of those things where I'm like, if you're not good, you're not good. It's very rare I've seen anyone who started as a rapper get better. Like started as a rapper with no knowledge and get better. Is this dropping? <laughs> oh man, even even they are in the Kwanga world. See, he sounds great there. They might delusional. I don't care. Oh, give me a good chorus, give me a good chorus. Give me a good chorus. Oh. This is amazing. That wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. I think that's my favorite rap from him. Because he didn't force any like swag on it. It was a good, it was a good one for him. This is the most well-rounded song on this album, man. Well, this would have been a great title track, but it would. It, there's a lot of vocals here. Yeah, this would be really hard to form.
This is clearly the best song on the album, right? We agree. We agree. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. Mm -hmm. Win Win's rap is great. The vocals are great. The rap line in general is great. Everything. This was very well rounded. I was thinking Moonwalk, but it reminded me more of Dropping for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I think because of the theatrics of the beginning. <gasps> this is gonna be amazing. You already know. You already know. I mean, it's called Lighthouse, so I was already kind of like, you know. Was that 10? That sounds like Shelshan. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I can see that. That high note just reminded me of Shelshan. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 10. Let me know, though. This reminds me of that NCTU song they did for Christmas. I don't remember who was in it. I think it was Jung Woo. Tao Doya? See, I can tell this is time, but I don't know, that one part just reminded me of Shaozhen. I guess I'm just not used to 10 doing that like that falsetto I guess you call it but I've heard Shaojin do it like that like that a lot so it's been a while so I don't know if maybe he's done it in other songs I just don't remember it being him but like that that thing I've never I don't think I've heard 10 do that I don't remember. He's probably done it, and I've probably been like, oh, that's amazing, and just don't remember him doing it, because... Yeah. Oh. Apple Bottom Jeans? <laughs> There's like a Y2K song that starts like this. Oh no. No, 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 man. Oh man, I'm so angry. Oh, to the right, to the right, to the right. What song is that? No, we'll get by yourself. That song, it reminds me of that song. Down, down, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Down, down. What song is that? This has to be sampled. Down, down, do your dance. Uh, what's the title? Cuba Shuffle. <laughs> Am I thinking of that? 
I think, I don't know. The doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, by the way, do people like this album? I love this. This is probably my favorite wavy album. If I don't see this album, oh, I guess it's Lego We. I can't be mad at him. If I don't see this album, that's hard. Maybe kind of sad though. It has all the elements of the other albums and just better, more advanced. It was by far the best album. Even my least favorite, which was Pop and Love. Oh no, Pop and Love, I think, right? I liked it. Oh, my least favorite was Rodeo. That's what it was. It ain't no thing. A lot of people apparently like those songs though, so I'm just kind of mm -hmm. gonna step back. <laughs> but I come to them for like R&B, and then I think Rodeo just had a more hip hop voice. Puzzle piece. <laughs> I'm at the like go back to Pop and Love for a second after this because people love Pop and Love, and I'm just I'm like it's, it's a good song, but it's not my favorite. But people are naming it the favorite. Wow. So we ended on... Oh. Okay. Let me go back to Rodeo. People are liking it, so we're going to give it a second chance because I love this group. Because I remember I, I love the last part. It's the chorus that got me. See, I'm just not going to like it because I don't like, like, heavy drops like boom 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 it's just it's just not a me thing and no songs who have done this i like no songs so it's not a dumb thing it's just a me thing i can probably listen to it occasionally but it's not a song i'm gonna go to and then people really liked where did it go oh i deleted it because i didn't want to name it um people really liked ain't no thing so yeah i, I definitely i remember i didn't like that one let's hear popping love Oh, I did like it, but just compared to the other songs. My favorite songs are Invincible, No One But You, Moonlight. Moonlight and Lighthouse are definitely my favorites. And then Be All Right. And then that title track. That wavy came back. Oh, one more sec, one sec. Okay, see, my issue is I did a little digging because anytime I looked up wavy and like and citizens and stuff it was like always post from like 2020 and stuff in 2019 like when they debuted all that so anything recent i've seen <sighs> people are saying oh they don't do well because korean fans you know they 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 want korean songs and stuff my issue is nct have a lot of international fans now dream 
bigger in Korea, apparently. We've seen that with the concerts and American stuff. Like, clearly they're bigger in Korea. Um, but, for one, they still did well in America. They just, the prices were stupid. That's why, I genuinely think it's because of the prices. Um, and then once you have not sold out concerts in America. So clearly, I would say NCT's fandom is 70-30, like NCT, the whole thing. 70% international, 60% international, 40% Korean, or 30% Korean, 10% other. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I feel like most of the Korean fans are for Dream. So my issue is Wavy, their music is very heavily something international fans would like. And NCT have a lot of international fans. There's no reason for me, in my opinion, for people not to like Wavy's music if they like NCT's music. Because like I said, especially if you're an international fan, 1 7 have a lot of hip-hop, R&B influence. And Wavy's music is very heavily that. And a lot of international fans are 1 7 fans. And the ones who started liking Dream liked them during when they started doing more like R&B, hip-hop sounds. And so they should like Wavy. So why is it they don't have a million views? Not even a million. And let's see. Fact check. Let's see what fact check did. 38 million. Dream, we all know. They, they kind of... 56 million. We don't even have a million. Oh, wait, no. That was Phantom. We don't even have a million. And then... Phantom? Not even 10 million. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. So, we know the wavy fandom. We're not streamers. <sighs> but, that means not even like... I can't do math. But, that just means like... Y'all aren't even trying to listen to it. Like, I, I don't understand why y'all hate wavy so much. Their music is objectively similar to the other units but different enough to where it's bothering you you, you could bother to listen to it it's in the realm of the other songs but just a little different so you can enjoy it more like you can you can enjoy it without being like oh i, I can get this with the other groups i think this is their best album i hope they do well because it's just irritating because it's just so good and no one's bothering to listen to it whatever fans who like wavy what do you think do you also think it's their best album i just think it it has it didn't change from their other sound but it improved and i that's what i like about wavy they don't go too crazy with different sounds but they improve enough to where you're getting what you come for but just better and that's what i like because sometimes one two seven have a comeback and i'm like oh a little too different, a little too weird. Don't know if I like it as much as the last album. But I feel like Wavy, every time, it just gets better. Same with Dream. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, they, they experiment more. But Wavy, they don't experiment a lot, but they keep you interested. And I think they're a very safe group to like, which is why I don't understand why we don't like it, but whatever. Anyways, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.